What's up guys, Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. This is an RC sound and lights kit from GT Power. Good thing about this one, it's Bluetooth control. It already comes with 58 kinds and uh, of sounds. As we can see here is the board itself. Very compact, nice little unit. And I have the truck unit of these as well and it works really, really well. But uh, let's get everything out of the box and see what else we get. Check out the speaker. That's nice. Not too, not too bulky, but it's got to have a fair bit of bass and oomph because it is a sealed box as well. Various double-sided tape and cable ties. USB cable, different plugs, and all your LEDs. Now, check out that. So what I would like to do is set it up so I can show you the different sound settings and also download the app so we can see how it works. Okay guys, yes, it looks like a spaghetti of wires at the moment, but once you hook it up, it's pretty self-explanatory. So, on this side here, this is the control board. Now this is where your inputs are coming. So, the first number one, one to turn, two to burn, so number one is your steering. And number two is your motor or ESC. Now this motor and ESC is in one combo. So that's why that is going into there. This next selection of wires just here, you have channel one, two, and three. Same thing, so channel one from here is going into your receiver. So it's gonna match up. So one from the control board, two and three is gonna match what's going from there into your receiver. This one here is your power, so we have this nice little unit here, so you've got your ESC going into it. This bridges off it, and the power is going to be coming from your LiPo. This top plug here is for your speaker, and then you have all the ones here on the, on the side here, on the left-hand side, and there are all your LEDs. So you've got reverse light, then you've got your front headlight, then you've got your small headlight, and then you've got brake light, left turn, right turn, and uh, that's all of them. So it's pretty cool. Now. You noticed on, these are the blinkers on the sides here, I've actually extended them because they didn't fit, because this is a 1 8 technically, so I've got these just extended pieces here so I can actually run to the body and put them in there, so I just wanted to show you how it looks before you, you know, before I kind of hide all the wires away. I've got it installed into my system just here using a basic 4 channel, what are these, a Dumbro RC? Transmitters are really cool. I needed this one because I wanted to shift from high to low, but I put it in neutral so I can kind of just use it as it is. So once you go have it all plugged in, you go to the app, R, C, L, and S, and look, it connects automatically. There we go. And it synchronizes from what you had last time. Now, if you, if you make a change, you have to press synchronize, and that saves it. But what's really good about this, it has automatically 58 car sounds already on here. Check out this. So the standard one, for example, if you want to hear what it sounds like, you push Audition, and you hear that. But what I'll do, I'll put the volume up so you can hear it. So that's that one, that's standard one. You can go through in there. Some of them are actually labelled. So we've got a Cobra Daytona here. You push Audition, that gives you a little clip. And obviously, I don't want a Cobra or an F1. So you've got F1, for example, for a crawler, but listen to this. Sounds pretty good. So what I was thinking, I know I was just going through crawlers. Let's have a look. Um, and some of these might be like a truck diesel motor, so that might be pretty cool as well. I'm not too sure what's in a Defender, but uh, let's just click on Crawler B. Let's try this one. That sounds pretty cool. So if you want that, you say select. And that uploads it. You can push synchronize, and that's ready to go. So. If I, this here is main value equipment, that means just main volume. So if I slide this over, there we go, and just synchronize now. If I push the throttle, you can hear it down. Now let me put it up a bit so we don't hear the motor. So if I get the slide here, I can change the volume. You can hear it straight away. There we go there. And I'll show you the controls you got left. Are your blinkers, right, blinkers as well, I'll put them in the chassis later. Got your LEDs for the front, you've got a smaller set as well. And you do have a set of reverse lights, see? Go reverse. And your brake lights are down there. 
like any normal set of you know LEDs. Really cool, but the shining star here is the app. So you're gonna change the volume, the, the type of car shows you, click on the next tab, and this is where you can change the settings. So standard, you can keep on, so everything will change on, turn off, everything will turn off. Blinking mode, slow blinking, and that kind of stuff. So you know, like a Christmas tree. So if you go to standard, you have other settings here as well. You've got uh, overload setting up, not too sure exactly what all these, but you can have, for example, the throttle response speed. Now it won't be as quick. Feel the volume, it doesn't, it doesn't spit out of my finger. If I go back in here, put it all the way back up again. Instant. And you also got a third, you got these gear shift sounds and all that kind of stuff. You can change, change position. It's very in-depth. You've got a brake sound as well. Just turn it off. So it's kind of if you've got it back on now, if you slam on the brake. Now, I'm not a big fan of that. But if you don't like it, you can just turn it off. Like this. Now it's gone. Pretty cool. And you also got a horn which or a special sound switch, and that's what this one is. It's uh, hooked up to siren. But you can change with that. So... It's very cool and it has a really good instruction manual on the app. You can update this, uh, the firmware and all that kind of stuff. Gives you your battery settings, you can change it, LiPo, all that kind of cool stuff. Very cool and also low voltage warning. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all this into the body and uh, let's see how it looks once everything's installed into that bad boy. Okay, I've managed to fit all the uh, lights inside this body here. Now I didn't use the reverse lights. If you don't use them, you just take them out because on this particular double E doesn't have room. It's got lights there, but there's no buckets for them. But what's cool is it does have for the indicators. Check that out, and also the one on the side. Nice, eh? Hey? Left and right, and also at the front too. Now those are really bright. Now the thing I noticed though, say I'm going forward, that motor, that's just a motor. So I'm going forward and I brake, and then I go in reverse, the main lights dip, to show if I can fix that. But uh, that's what it is when it goes back on. But looks really cool, I do like this body. It's probably the most detailed body I've seen. And it's for the price, this is probably cheaper to buy the body, like the whole car, than it is to buy some other uh, name brand bodies. And it's hard bodied as well, it's full interior. If you haven't seen it, check out this. And magnetic doors. Check out that full interior, it's got magnets. See? And also at the back as well, spare tyre, metal wheels, and everything. But uh, there we go, guys. Let me know what you guys think of this lighting kit. I'll leave the link down below if you want to go check it out. But I think it's really cool, brings an extra detail to your model. And, like, for example, I think this is the most detailed model there is. Uh, and it helps adding this light system to it. So thanks guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.